So I'm presuming you've used the rest of the videos and the, the blog posts to set up both of your sites independently. You've got your Weglot application set up and you've got your hreflang tags for each different site set up with their various country targeting and language targeting done correctly. So once you've done that, we've got our two websites and we need to merge them together as far as hreflang tags are concerned because we need to have the same tags on every single variation of the page. So to do that, say we've got this first site that I'm, that I'm editing now. Let's presume this is targeting uh, the UK, English speaking people in the UK, END-GB there. And say that our secondary site is targeting English speaking people in general, English speaking in Canada and the US, and then French speaking people in Canada and Spanish speaking people in the US as well. <clears throat> so this is the code that you would want to add in um, to your GB site in this situation. Domain.com would represent your second domain name. So this is effectively saying that for English and English speakers in Canada and the US, show them this version of the page and it's for French people in Canada or French speaking people in Canada, uh, show them this version of the page. This is how we got, oh, that's wrong. This is how Weglot generates translated URLs with the slash a slash l slash language uh, modifier there. And then this is for the Spanish speaking people in the USA. And it's going to this part of the site here. And then this is our X default tag, which I've set to be the English version of the second website. So this is whatever you want people to default to if there is no specific language for them, or it's a language, but it's not. Um, Geo specific either. Now, once we have this saved, the code will appear on on the front end, and you can verify it here. So we've got these URLs. You can see that we've got domain.com targeting English, ENCA, ENUS. Then we've got our French version for Canada and our Spanish version for the US there. And then we've got our X default tag as well. Now, when you go ahead and edit the <clears throat> um, the second website, so this domain.com hypothetical website, what we need to do is add the UK hreflang codes to here. And we also make, need to make sure the X default is there too. So we would paste this tag in. We would ignore all of these. We would need a GB version and this would go to UK domain.com so that points this tag at our first site so this is what you would paste into the second site along with this and these tags would all already be generated um, as long as you've modified them correctly by the weekly application so you wouldn't have to duplicate those again and that scenario you would have all of the tags the same and they would match on all websites